Hello and welcome to another video of our NDCN series. My name is Dr. Mariam and today we're going to be going over the sensory part of the neurological examination for NDCN. If you have not watched the motor part, it's advised to go over there and watch it first before watching this one. But before we begin, please take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel. So for sensory examination, we're going to be testing the upper limbs and the lower limbs. And what we're going to be testing for is touch, which is light touch and pain sensation, vibration and proprioception. For you to properly understand the sensory neurological examination part, you need to familiarize yourself with the dermatomes of both the upper limb and the lower limb, which is not that difficult. So for dermatomes of the upper limb, it starts from C5 to T1. So as you can see, to test for C5, we test on the lateral aspect of the arm. For C6, it's lateral aspect of the forearm along with the thumb and the index finger. C7 is middle finger and ring finger. C8 is little finger and medial aspect of the forearm and T1 is on the medial aspect of the arm. And you need to test on both sides, testing like with like. So the first part of our exam includes testing for sensation and there are two parts to sensation, light touch and pain. So for light touch, we're going to use a dry cotton wool. To test for light touch, we need the patient to know what it feels like. So that's why we first start testing on the patient's sternum. So we ask, sir, can you feel this? Yes. So I'm going to place it on each side of your arm and every time I place it, I want you to say yes if you can feel it. Okay. Okay. So the patient needs to know to say yes when he feels it. So we're going to be testing the dermatomes and we're going to be going light with light, side with side. Okay. So we start our testing with C5 on the lateral aspect of the arm. Say yes if you can feel it. Yes. Yes. C6. Yes. Yes. And you can do C6 on the thumb as well. C7 on the middle finger. Yes. Yes. C8. Yes. Yes. And you can do C8 on the medial aspect of the forearm as well. And then T1. Yes. Yes. So we repeat the same thing with pain sensation. And for pain, we're going to be using this as a little prep test. So for the sake of this examination, I'm not going to print the patient unnecessarily. <laughs> So, sir, I'm going to be doing the same thing all over again, but this time the sensation will feel slightly different. I want you to tell me yes if you can feel it. This is how it's supposed to feel like. Can you feel it? C5? Yes. Yes. C6? Yes. Yes. C7? Yes. Yes. C8? Yes. Yes. T1? Yes. Yes. Thank you, sir. So for the next part of the examination, we're going to be testing for vibration sense using the 128 tuning fork. The vibration sense, we need to test using the 128 tuning fork. And what we're going to do is we're going to explain to the patient. So, sir, I'm going to make this vibrate and I'm going to place it on your thumbs. When you feel it, I want you to tell me you feel it. And when you stop feeling it, I want you to say you stop feeling it. Okay. Yeah, okay? So you need to also show the patient how it feels like. This is how it feels like. Yeah. Okay, so. Can you close your eyes, please? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Stop. Yes. Stop. Okay. So if the patient is having trouble feeling the vibration on the most distal joints, you keep moving proximally until you can find the point where the patient starts feeling the vibration. So the last part of the sensory examination of the upper limb is testing for position sense or proprioception. So sir, I'm going to be moving your thumb up and down, okay? You need to show the patient. So this is up and this is down. I want you to close, lie down, close your eyes. I'm going to move it up and down. And when I do, I want you to tell me if it's up or if it's down, okay? Just relax your hands. Down. Up. Up. Okay, the same on the other hand. Up. Down. Down. So for the proprioception, it's very important to know that you need to hold the hands by the side because holding it like this can actually give the patient a clue due to the pressure, whether you're pointing it up or down. So the correct technique is to hold it by the 